Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the embargo has been lifted on Hogwarts Legacy. And surprisingly enough, gaming journos are reviewing the game very, very favorably, but they hate themselves for it. They do. Like almost every review has like an apology attached to it. Yes. I know one we're going to talk about later on. They're talking about how all the problems with it. They said, and then I and then so I started playing the game. All that was gone. And it's like, oh. This is very interesting. This is a very uh, different scenario than what I expected to happen. I thought they were going to review bomb the game uh, or, or, you know, just they not can't. not review it at all. You well, know? They can't because if they do that. Then, then, then that's their job. It's going to look really bad for the company they work for. They're not going to get any more uh, review copies. They're not going to get, you know, anything to cover. No one's going to go anywhere near them. No more access. Yeah, it is one of, if not the biggest game releases of the year, possibly of the last couple of years. Good news. They say it's all, they all say it's good. I, I haven't come across a single review yet that said it was a bad game, but they all hate themselves for, for reviewing it. Like, it's like it's I so had great. to review it. I had to review it. It's like, it's so great, but I'm so sorry, but it's so good, but I'm so sorry. Yeah, right. Um, so we're going to go through some of these uh, some of these reviews. Uh, very, very interesting turn of events. Again, I thought that it would go differently. I thought that people would ignore it, but you can't ignore it. It's too big to ignore. So let's talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 291, almost 292,000 yeah. subs. Thank you so much for the support. We have been following the debacle with Hogwarts Legacy because it has turned into kind of a Gamergate type moment, unfortunately, uh, because of the fact that J.K. Rowling is associated with this game. But it's not going the way they expected. It's not going the way they expected. It's actually selling very, very, very well. And everybody who plays it, they were probably secretly hoping it would suck. It does not suck. No. Um, it's actually very, very good. Actually, I know people that have played it and they said it's very, very good. It's a straight sand effect. Y'all said it needed to be canceled and you just made it bigger than ever. And then after they actually had to play it because it's their job, they, oh my God, it's so good. But, but don't hate us. Don't hate us. So let's go through some of these uh, ridiculous reviews because again, it's if they're not outright saying that they didn't want to review it or, you know, like this one, Hogwarts Legacy does not deserve to be, to be reviewed on its own merits. What about everybody who worked on the game that had nothing to do with Rowling? Well, they're going to get a list and then they're going to go after them, probably. Whether or not we want to admit it, it's impossible to talk positively about Hogwarts Legacy without harming a community of human beings. But the game's good. <laughs> you know, it starts out with a whole big thing about, like, the game's good, but, you know, we, 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 we hate to say it's good. They really, truly hope the game was going to suck. But you know what's funny to me? Let's look at everything Nestle owns. Nestle's known for, you know, saying water is not a right and everything else and the things that they do and environmental things they do. I bet you all buy and, and use Nestle products. That's harming a much larger group. People don't care about that, do you? It's like you're all focused on this one group. People, I'm not saying that people should be harmed, but what I'm saying is if you actually stopped and looked into everything you use on a daily basis, you'll probably find that most everything that's in your life that you, you use or that you want has a harm to somebody in some way. The electric cars y'all promote, uh, the batteries are mined by children. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, it's like some of the clothes you wear, so, guess where they're made? Uh, you know? Slave labor, pretty much. So don't yeah. go oh, act all righteous because it's one cause that you get a lot of attention for. Because there's so many things every day in your life that you are associated with or that you like or that you use that are harming groups of people. And and arguably some groups, these people are larger than the group, this, this one particular group. So... They go on for many, many paragraphs. I guess this reviewer is trans and puts all kinds of links out. I know a lot of trans people who bought the game. I know, right? <laughs> and uh, and uh, goes on about NFTs. Now we're going to drag that into it. But do they like electric cars? Do they like cell phones? I know. It's well. This is what what gets me about this because everybody was calling for a boycott of Hogwarts Legacy because money goes to J.K. Rowling, not realizing that like Lego still makes. Harry Potter toys, and she makes more money off of those, I'm sure, than she's probably going to make off this game. Uh, Universal theme parks. Every time somebody buys a butterbeer, she gets paid. She gets paid every year. Every time, If you even go to the park, if you go to the park for Nintendo in California, part of that money is going to her because annually they have to give her a big fat check. Mm -hmm. You know, So they jack the ticket prices up when Wizarding World open. They're jacking up when Nintendo opens, I guess. Because they have to give more people a big fat check. Yeah, so everybody's got to get a big fat check. So, I mean, there's no way to... Uh, avoid giving her money short of not supporting anything even, uh, you know, 
somewhat oh related to. Do you know when you breathe that some oxygen in the world somewhere is going to her and you're breathing the same oxygen? Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. So after the like nine paragraph intro, I did play the review copy of Hogwarts Legacy I received. What I thought everybody was going to boycott it. What I found was a competently made semi-open world action RPG with a fairly linear storyline, basic character progression with very limited build, expression, or variety, and a combat metal that was absolutely functional but ultimately felt one note and grew swift. That's not what everybody else says. That's not what everybody else said. So, and then we veer back into uh, trans rights, I guess. See, Don't buy the game. This is like when the PS5 came out and they're, I'm going to review it, but it's wrong that I even have this to review that I was given because people, you know, in this economy... Politics, politics, politics. I'm like, this is how you get fired. Because game game companies, these game journal sites are there because they're there to review games. And that's their job, like to cover gaming news. These people aren't going to work with you anymore. Well, I think they're feeling the heat, too. I think, I think the difference between now and 2014 is that these gaming websites are getting shut down at an alarming rate. These journalists are getting laid off. And now BuzzFeed's using AI to write articles. Those are the to like do better articles yeah for this too let the let the computer play the game and then they'll pick some things and yeah, they'll right. be like here's what we thought but here we go i mean here we go right so um you have to give a disclaimer why i'm reviewing hogwarts legacy from engadget the first couple paragraphs five days ago a review code for hogwarts legacy landed in my inbox I've been thinking about this moment for more than a year, ever since the backlash against the game started gaining traction online. Would my peers cancel me? Would I be blacklisted from the video game journalism super secret clubs on Discord that aren't so super secret that people are actually in and screen capping things? Mm -hmm. I would hate for that to happen. So <laughs> anyway, the author of the Harry Potter novels is transphobic and she's targeted transgender women in particular. For this reason, some people in the LGBTQ plus community and allies beyond have decided to boycott it and admonish anyone who chooses to play or stream it themselves. This is a game journo admitting, admitting that they're going to go harass people who play this game online. Now, there's a little bit of a story here because there was a Twitch streamer who said, don't stream it, don't whatever. Um, there was an interview on BBC with uh, one of our writers on Clownfish TV, Jake James. And um, he was with the uh, head of the gamer. Uh, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but she's trans. And she was trying to argue unsuccessfully that uh, nobody's being harassed over this game. It's just a simple choice, and people should have the right to choose to boycott products they don't believe in, and that's fine. I, I do. I believe do agree that. with that. Yes. The problem is, is that people are out there literally harassing, doxing, stalking, admonishing anyone who supports the game. We've had people in the comments say that they're trans and they don't tell anybody in their in their friends group that they bought the game because they know that they'll be they'll be you know ousted from their group and they'll be harassed by their quote unquote friends for buying the game. You know damn well like everybody's buying this game. They're just not telling people, mm -hmm. right? You know, you know damn well everybody's buying this game. But I'm just saying, like it's uh, absolutely, absolutely true that people are being harassed over this game. People are being mm -hmm. fired. The community manager of Limited Run Games got fired because she said she was excited about the game, mm -hmm. and and the uh, loving community went out and found one tweet in particular, but they went and they tried to, you know, look through her tweet history. They had to go back seven years to find something that could support their, their case as to why she should be fired. Ridiculous. So it sparked explosive arguments across social media, Twitch and YouTube. Those in favor of the boycott argue playing the game benefits other financially in the case for blah, 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 blah. Those in favor of the boycott argue that playing the game benefits the author financially and indicates support for her beliefs. On the flip side, potential players point out that the author wasn't involved in the creation of Hogwarts Legacy and her status as the world's richest author won't change regardless of the game's success. <laughs> also, they really want to play it. Basically, I want to play it, so I'm going to justify it by saying, well, it's not going to make a difference whether I play it or not because she's still rich. Yeah, but she's afraid of getting canceled. I just think that's, that's funny. I mean, it's, that's what you most of these people are in the camp of the second one, which is, you know... I want to play the game, but I don't want to play the game if I'm going to be, you know, harassed yeah. myself. So I had to put a big flowery, you know, I'm sorry thing. Just fucking own it. I say, I want to play the game. I like Harry Potter. I'm sorry. Two things can be true at once. You can disagree with J.K. Rowling's hot takes on Twitter, and you can actually be excited about this game. I don't know why they have to be mutually exclusive. I mean, no. the thing is, is she is going to make every person that goes through the turnstile at Universal is literally giving her money. 
every parent that buys a Lego set for their kids, that's Harry Potter is giving her money. Every book that's sold every, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know where it ends. And I think what, what weirds me out about this whole situation is everybody is so hyper-focused on this game. This is probably a drop in the bucket compared to what she's getting from other stuff. Well, look, it's me too. Is this one that said it's not a her world, it's ours type thing? You know, okay, I'm going to try it Star Wars for a minute. You know, people were already upset about the changes that were made. Disney has done things that they bastardized for Star Wars. And people are like, well, you don't own Star Wars. Star Wars isn't yours. Star Wars is theirs. They bought it. It's theirs. It's, they own it. You can do whatever they want. Same thing. Uh, you don't own Harry Potter. It's yeah. owned by Warner Brothers. It's owned, and, and J.K. Rowling is the creator, and they work with her. They can do whatever the hell they want, and you can't say anything. So you can't argue one side. Everybody should just shut up and deal with it because it's what you want, and then argue on the other side that, that, that that's, that's okay when it happens to everybody else, but not you. So this is really, this is what's scary about it. These journos are afraid of each other. It's just like the comic book industry, but like on a whole other level. I'll give them credit for being honest. Yeah, they're afraid they're, of each other. They're being honest. It's frightening to write that down that, you know, she was excited to play it and she's having a good time. Knowing the condemnation I could receive, it's an extra light version of the dread I felt while publishing literally anything during Gamergate. But this time it's more personal. The hate would be coming from people I actually care about. Wait, you just got done to say? Oh, I, I, oh, oh, I can't. Okay, when I wrote in Gamergate, I got crap too, but I didn't really care then because I didn't give two shits about those people, but these people I care about. Yep, yep. I mean, my, I'll give her no, credit she, for being honest, but come on. She, no, she's what she's saying is my peers are going to cancel me over this damn game, and I know it's true. I listened, again, I listened to that uh, that interview on BBC where they talked to the head of the gamer, and she was like completely in denial that people were getting canceled. I'm like, you cannot be that oblivious they're to what's not. going on when especially a lot of this shit is being coordinated on no. discords and they're downplaying it because they want to cover the game yeah yeah um so this is a hogwarts legacy review from ign in almost every way this is the harry potter rpg i've always wanted to play so we get like two or three paragraphs in and we have to have a big box with the bold border on it concerning jk rowling we have to have a big ass disclaimer in the review. They're doing this. Look, 95% of these people are hella excited about this game. They're afraid to review this game because of their damn peers being psychos. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Read this. So to, we believe we we believe the developers of Avalanche don't necessarily share her views. No shit. And then regardless, IGN is always and will continue to champion human rights causes and support people speaking with their wallets in whatever manner they choose while they're buying the game. So we got to cater to those who, to those with money. We want to stay in business. As critics, our job is to answer the question of whether or not we find Hogwarts Legacy to be fun to play and why. Whether it's ethical to play is a separate but still, it's still a very important question. What? Oh my God. So in virtually, as in virtually all cases, we're choosing to expose and address the views of the franchise creators separately from our consideration of the work. How come they could do that? But now, they, now, a week ago, two weeks ago, they were like, you know, right, these people were writing hit pieces right and left. You damn hypocrites. You like, are. You're a were, bunch of hypocrites. They were not, not IGN necessarily, but all these, so many of these outlets, these journos, uh, Twitter and writing articles, why I'm boycotting, why you need to boycotting, why it's a moral, you need to boycott this game. It's a moral imperative. If you care about trans people, JK Rowling is literally killing them. Herself. Every, herself. In person. Yes. Every copy you buy, as soon as you crack that case open, a trans person falls dead because of her. So you better think about whether or not that game is worth it. Because she puts stuff on Twitter. Because it's a curse. Yeah, she puts oh, yeah, stuff on Twitter. Oh, yeah, it's a curse. It's but a killing but curse. I love this. What I'm, my takeaway is they're admitting that the, that the game developers have very little to do with what she, you know, her yes. views, which we've been saying. Yes. Um, people got canceled for less. Yes. And they said that, you know, they're going to champion human rights, but we're going to we're gonna have to cater to those who speak with their wallet, meaning y'all are buying the game, so we're going to have to review it because it's our damn job and our editors told us we had to. Do not cancel us because we're doing our job. And then finally following it by, you know, oh, we're going to answer that's good enough. But what, this isn't our job to talk about whether or not it's ethically okay, even though you've done article after article after article trying to discuss why you think it's not ethically okay. You're just virtue signaling the whole way through so no one cancels you as you talk about how great this game is because you had you played it, you went there, it's a great game, you're excited, and you're so afraid of getting canceled. That's what the whole thing is. Hypocritical bullshit. 
It's not that most of these people actually felt that way, that they really had a strong, they're just so afraid because they know how vicious these people are. Again, look at the community man manager of Limited Run Games. Uh, look at Troy Lovett, who got pushed out of his own damn game because of, of this, you know, brigading against it. And now the game's coming out and people are like, yeah, you know what? Maybe we can let it slide because the game's pretty good. And, you we know, all like just, Harry Potter. Something we, we, like we Harry care Potter, about. And she so. wasn't really that involved, even though they were saying that up front. Like two years ago when they were trying to fire people. They would argue it didn't matter. It was, she was still making money, so it didn't matter. They argued. They were all arguing that just like two weeks ago. Then you better not go to Universal and go to Nintendo because all, all I'm saying is she's getting money from Universal. Every person that goes through to check out Nintendo, they're in a, indirectly paying her as well. And you know they're they're going to go and they're going to check out Mario and then they're going to go over to Wizarding World and get Butterbeer. You know that, right? So I don't want to see a single one of these journalists who were going to boycott this game show up at Nintendo. Actually, some of these journos, some of these game, the people that are all you know uh, saying cancel this game, cancel J.K. Rowling. Uh, I've seen pictures of them at Wizarding World. So. Mm -hmm. Well, they're arguing that well, Harry Potter's like that, their generation of Star Wars, which is, you know, I, I agree. That's, that. that's, that's fair. That's, that's a fair, true. You know. yeah. But again, like I said, when our generation got fucking pissed, when you guys ruined Luke Skywalker and made all kinds of changes for no damn good reason and, cha and you know, change everything around and made stupid choices, we were bigots and hypocrites and how dare we? And you, you don't own it. It's not yours. It's Disney's. They can do what they want because we like the changes. But now that you have this coming up and now, it, it, you know, when it's, it's affecting you. <laughs> then you're like it's ours it's not hers it's ours well then our, fuck you it's our time now not hers I mean if you keep we'll arguing the same thing you don't own it they can make whatever cho changes and choices they want and if it pisses you off oh well maybe we like it you know I said in another video there, there was talk before that she had considered I don't know if it's true or not there's a rumor that she had actually considered selling Harry Potter off completely to like Warner or something like that like George Lucas mm hmm and uh, she's not going to do it now because it's backlash because she's going to be like, nah, you whiny bitches. I'm going to hold on to this thing till the day I die. And I'm going to make sure it gets passed down from my my family members from now until the end yeah, of time. Yeah, they were making comments about punching their, their descendants in the face. Yeah. On other articles. Well, they were showing up at her house. They're showing up at her house with her kids. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, Hogwarts Legacy rekindles that Harry Potter magic. This is from CNET commentary. The game lets you dive into an unseen era of the wizarding world and it's a joy to explore but but second paragraph author jk rowling's inflammatory comments about transgender people suck the remaining fun out of the franchise yeah so they said that followed by all that baggage fell away as they started the game yes all the baggage all like, oh it overstuffed spinoffs jk rowling and and, and 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 you know we have to stand against her for transgender people but all that went away as soon as i started playing and i had fun and i liked it i forgot all about the you know those people that, you know, she hates supposedly and is killing. It's okay. It was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked that case open. I knew somebody in another country probably just literally fell over dead from her killing curse, but it's okay. I had a good time. Doesn't matter. I didn't know them anyway. But they're all like, the game's amazing. The game's fantastic. It has some plot holes, but it's a fantastic game. Uh, four out of five stars. Hogwarts Legacy delivers a stunning world and an excellent, if sometimes dated RPG, smart fan service, satisfying combat, and an impressive Hogwarts make this the definitive Harry Potter fantasy. Let's see what we're saying. Oh, we got a first paragraph. Fortunately, it's arrived after many people are understandably questioning their ties to the Wizarding World due to comments made by J.K. Rowling. And although Rowling was not involved in the development of the game... <laughs> Guys, Rowling canceled anyway, just like two weeks ago. Her impact as the creator of the franchise is firmly felt regardless. Uh, oh, here, they've got... For full breakdown of the situation, we recommend this article by Glamour. Warner has publicly distanced itself from Rowling. No, they haven't. No, they have not. They're going to bring her back in to do more. Wait, what? Bullshit. They have not. Not... No. Okay, she's not directly involved in the new game. Did you not see where David Zaslav praised her publicly? This was back in 2020. Oh my God, you dumbasses. And we've been saying this since then, that she's not involved in the game, but you guys all, all you journos, have keep, keep going there and saying about how she boycotted, yeah. and people are terrible people if they play this game. You're on these secret boards screaming and ranting, but you, you, know, you might not put the articles up, but you're all out there, you know, in these groups, you know, caught, and, and you're on Twitter screaming and ranting about it. So this might be a backdoor pilot. David Zaslav was raving about J.K. Rowling and how amazing Harry Potter was and how they want more Harry Potter content and not mm -hmm. Fantastic Beasts content. 
And this game does take place in a different era of Hogwarts. And The Last of Us is doing very, very well. It's possible that they took a look at this game in development and was like, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a TV show based on Hogwarts Legacy. It takes place at Hogwarts. It's got the kids. It's got the teachers. It's got all the elements of Harry Potter you want, but it doesn't have Dan Radcliffe and Emma Watson. Mm -hmm. So fuck them. We prefer it. <laughs> Man, yeah. nobody cares about it. Like, nobody cares about it. He's, nobody cares. I'm just like being fair. I just think it's funny. And it goes on and on. There's a review after review after review. And like, while a couple actually, I only it's like one or two that didn't go down the whole well, JK Rowling thing. Um, most all of them are like, it's the best game ever. Oh my God. Except these bad things. But you know, I want to play it. Just own it. Just to have some balls and own it. Uh, you know, you can create characters without balls. Too. I'm just saying. Uh, I mean, balls are... In my, in my expression, it's gender neutral. There you go. See, that's a very progressive thing to say. Any person can have balls. There you go. Yeah. Um, Grow some balls and, and admit, I wanted to play this. I was excited about this, but I was afraid my friends would cancel me. That's exactly. Stand up to your fucking friends. You know what? If your friends, you're so worried that your friends are going to cancel you and you're not going to have friends anymore, then maybe they're not your friends to begin with. It's just like comics. Just yeah, because they are yeah. your friends and they know you. Then they know that just because you don't agree, you you might not agree with the thing, but you want to play the game. It doesn't mean that you're a terrible person, you know, any more than you're a terrible person. You know, if you use cell phones, electric cars, or drink bottled water from Nestle. I mean, God, you people, if you had to cancel yourself over every you know possible connection to anything, you would literally just just dig a hole and go in it because and sit there because that's where you're gonna have to stay. Um, Except the shovel's probably done by a company out of China or something. <laughs> probably. Slave, next to it, next to an encampment. Slave labor made this shovel. Uh, the only one that doesn't mention rolling at all is pure Xbox. There was another one. It was like game something. I saw so many of these. I can't remember which yeah, one. Yeah, they're all kind of blend together. There are going to be significantly fewer of these sites by the end of the year. That's why they're they're covering this because they know there are going to be significantly fewer jobs by the end of the year. But um, this one's coming from True Achievements. I don't even know what True Achievements is. Uh, but they get all the way down. Hey, this game's fantastic. Here we have a call out right here. True Gaming Network does not agree with, support, or condone the comments and stance of Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling on the subject of transgender rights and equality. The developers of Hogwarts Legacy have stated that Rowling is not directly involved in the Again, game. Again, they all keep going to there now. It's been stated for years, and you all kept arguing it didn't matter until now until you played the game y'all kept fucking arguing it doesn't matter if she wasn't she still gets money it's still giving her money it's still giving her power and now and now you're all like well they're not they're not the, they're not you know part she's not part of it so it's okay nine out of ten all the middle fingers <laughs> all the middle fingers at you because you know if you're gonna you know, at least own it at least have the guts to own it so this is a pc gamer this is coming from modern gaming journalist with a blue check, so he must be a modern gaming um, uh, Unfortunately, the thing about JK Rowling in this, but um, this was the original Hogwarts Legacy review in progress. It'd be a lot easier to dismiss Hogwarts Legacy if it weren't so good. That's what they're hoping for. They're mm -hmm. hoping, and then of course, you know, I've been thinking a lot about Rowling, but I freaking, you know, love this game, but she's a bigot. But I love this game. Oh my God, what to do, yeah, what to do? They couldn't separate the game from the creator before. Cancel it anyway. And now that you want to play it, now that it's amazing, now that you all your friends want to play it, and you, and you know they're not going to cancel you because they're all saying it's good. Now it's, oh, you just separate the two because the gaming people had nothing to do with it. So, now. So can uh, Limited Run Games hire their community manager back? Can Troy Levitt get his job back now? Because like, They had nothing to do with it. They had nothing to do with it. The, the innocent people got fired because you guys were having a meltdown that this game existed. And now the game's out. You're all like, hey, game's pretty good. Uh, we can separate the creator from the creation. Uh, yeah, sure we can. Sure we can, because the game's good. Fuck off. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what I have to say. That's the integrity of games journalists at this point in time. Yeah. And then the ones that are still sticking to their, I mean, they, they might still be like, I hate this game because of that, but at least they're sticking to their guns and I'll give them, at least I'll give them that because they're not, you know, flip flopping like everybody else. And yeah. they're all like, oh, we had to review it because we had to. Yeah, you do. Cause that's literally your fucking job. Go find another job if you don't want to. You have one job, one job, and you might not even have that for very much longer. So we're going to wrap this up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.